Thanks. Yeah, it's uh, really cool. It's my go-to uh, everyday banjo. Uh, it, for anyone who doesn't know, it's a long neck, so it's got basically three extra frets on a um, regular banjo. Um, it's usually kept with a capo uh, up where it would be on a normal banjo. Um, I actually keep it in F or D um, without the capo. It's usually kept in G slash E. I think it was invented by Pete Seeger um, in the 50s or something, and it really caught on. Um, this is by Harmony. Uh, it's branded uh, Holiday, but it's by Harmony. It's a resitone, so it's like an early composite plastic type thing. It's been painted silver to look like uh, metal. Um, it's pretty cool. It was a cheap banjo at the time, and they're still not like super desirable, but the thing's a real tank. It's got a truss rod in the neck, and uh, someone replaced the uh, shitty tuners with uh, sealed guitar tuners, which are work fine. Um, and it's still got the original calfskin head on it, which is uh, cool. It's probably from like the early 60s, if I had to take a guess, like 1962 or 63 or 64. I don't really know. Um, it's definitely got some mileage and damage. It's been played a lot. Um, it didn't sound very good when I got it. It had metal strings on it. I think like sometimes these kind of banjos produce a lot of overtones, and uh, putting metal strings on a shitty banjo can just like multiply the overtones. So I like Nile Gat on it. On shitty banjos. for it. Um, I bought it on Reverb, so pretty happy with the, uh, pretty happy with that purchase.